Welcome to the first video of this playlist and here we will be covering all the GraphQL labs from both Zucker. So let's have a look at this first one which is about accessing private GraphQL post. So to understand this you first need to have basic knowledge about how GraphQL query looks like and how mutation work, what is arguments, what are fragments and if you want to learn about them you can check out the video from the i button there and once you are done you can get back to this video okay so let's get started i'm going to access this lab it says the block page of this lab contains a hidden blog post that has a secret password to solve the lab, find the hidden blog post and enter the password. Okay, so we have to find a secret password. So let's start capturing all those requests in burp. not much of functionality here okay let's go to the http history and here we can see an interesting endpoint of graphql let's send this to repeater and there is this another one okay so let's have a look at this first so it's a query and it's trying to fetch image title, summary, and ID of a blog. Send this request and in the response you can see all those data being returned over here. Okay, if you want to have a better look of this query, you can download this extension from B App Store that is in QL. And you can see this extension is installed. Go back to repeater and you can see it's added here GraphQL. And there you can see a better view of the query and it make more sense than this one. So there are four fields that we are trying to fetch. Okay, that's cool. Now let's have a look at the second request. And this is a little different from the previous one, but pretty much same. The difference is that it has one argument as well, id, and this is the id variable which has this value for. So according to this id, it's fetching a particular post. This response was being fetched by the first request that was fetching all the post without any particular id or something. but when you click on a particular post like this one it will try to fetch that particular post by providing a particular id in the argument okay so this is how it is working but to solve this lab we need to find a um, secret password right so the first thing that you do when you are dealing with graphql endpoints is try sending an introspection query I'm going to use this introspection query that I stored in here if you want to access this as well you can get it by the link in the description I'm going to copy this and over here replace it send the query and in the response we can see all the objects that are available. So we can see the blog post that is an object. It has different number of fields that is ID, which we saw, image, title, author, date, summary, and some other like paragraphs. 
let's scroll a little bit more and there we can see another one that is is private seems like it's a boolean type and if we scroll a little more we can see another one that is post password and it's of type string so maybe we can fetch this as well let's try to do this here I'm going to include post password and we don't see anything here okay let's go back again there is another thing we saw that each post has a particular ID so it's four two one and five it's obvious that ID 3 is not available here so maybe it's private I'm gonna go here and change the ID to 3 send the request and we are able to fetch this particular ID let's try to add that post password field we saw in the introspection query and here we can see the response has this field as well so we were not getting post password previously because it didn't existed for other IDs but it does for ID 3 which was supposed to be private field and we were able to see the contents of it. Okay. This lab shows that how an attacker can get access to fields that are supposed to be hidden, which are not uh, quite easily found when you analyze the request manually like we were doing it before, but after sending the introspection query, we were able to see the hidden fields and we were able to exploit it okay thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one